Hey everybody, Matt Wozni here. We got a lot of cool things ahead of you here on the Woz Bowls YouTube channel. We're gonna document kind of my professional bowling career, but also we're gonna check out my top five tournaments from 2020. It's been quite a year with the pandemic going on, restrictions at the centers, everything else been kind of messed up this year. <laughs> Been able to get tournaments off this year, which has been good. Uh, we had some good ones this year. I cashed like 19 tournaments, I think this year. So uh, we're gonna choose five of them here in this top five list of my best tournaments from 2020. At number five is the Suburban South Jersey USBC Masters at Bolero Turnersville. Uh, this tournament was kind of a last minute decision. I really didn't plan on doing this until I just kind of just was like, hey, I'm gonna show up and do it. So um, this tournament, um, it was a five game format qualifying. Uh, I was 120 over after five games and it got me, I believe the fifth seed, I think it was. And I was uh, just pumped to be in the finals. It was one of eight bowlers that made the finals. So um, I lost my first two matches in match play. So I was booted pretty much quick out of there. Uh, I lost to Sam Macaron and the eventual winner, Matt O'Grady. So uh, it was a great tournament overall. It was very well ran. Um, walked away with some money, so I couldn't complain about that at all. It was a good tournament for me because I had a string of bad ones leading up to it. So it was a tough one there. Um, also, the pattern was a Kegel Statue of Liberty 47 feet. So the longer patterns I seem to do pretty well at, but I like to be I like to be known, hopefully, to be good at all patterns, not just the long ones and stuff. So, um, but a great tournament overall, and I uh, was pretty pumped on the finish. At number four is a Thanksgiving Day six game marathon that I bowled at AMF Perry Hall in Maryland. Uh, this tournament was uh, not very high scoring. Um, I was 73 over, I believe, after the six games, but it was good enough to get second. So I just kept grinding away, kept you know trying to get the games in there that I needed to get. Um, I shot 258 in the last game to jump right up to second. So that was a huge, huge finish for me. I tend to finish really strong at the end of the blocks for me. So whenever I do that, especially if I have a rough tournament and then I can finish with a 250 or 240 something high, that's always, that's, <laughs> I leave with dignity from the tournament. So that's kind of why I really push right to the end. And I like to like the six game, eight game, even 10 game marathons that take, you know, a lot of games to kind of make up ground or you can lose that ground too in those games too. So it's a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, so it's a lot, it's a very challenging, but it's a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. So. I uh, was able to get second in a pretty stacked field, so I um, was pretty pumped on that. At number three is a Labor Day 8-game marathon that I bowled at Limerick Bowl in Limerick, Pennsylvania. This tournament was um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, big field, very big field. I ended up finishing sixth in this tournament. Um, it was uh, the What made this tough was that it was two patterns. Um, it was a 37, 38 feet on the left lane, and then I think it was a like 43 something, 44 on the right lane. So um, left lane seemed to be the biggest problem for a lot of people that day. Um, that ended up helping me out because left lane was kind of my better lane. Um, that pattern just seemed to suit me. I was playing down the right again. Wasn't playing really straight down in. I was kind of playing with a little angle, play a little bit with uh, with some urethane and short pin reactive stuff. Like kind of like we did at Perry Hall, um, that tournament and Thanksgiving that I did too. Um, so I was just trying to make sure my angles were, were tight on that, close, but nothing, you know, anything too far right wasn't coming back, but I think too far left was just not even gonna happen, so. Um, so it was a really tough term. It was a grind, eight games. I love eight gamers. And um, it was um, an efficient six. So it was a great day, very stacked field too. Uh, um, it was on Monday, it was a Labor Day. It was a, I don't know, it seems like the holidays seem like I do well at them. So, so it was a, a lot of fun and uh, definitely back in Limerick Bowl. That fall bowling center is a, uh, it was uh, my first time there and I had a blast. The center did a great job with everything. So um, definitely we'll be back there whenever they have the next tournament for sure. At number two is the Lehigh Valley Masters at the Rose Bowl in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This tournament uh, went off great starting off. I believe it was a six game block, I think we bowled. And um, I ended up finishing first. I was the top seed out of both squads on Saturday. So that was awesome. Uh, I haven't been first seed in a while. Last time I was first seed was 2018 Rockaway PBA Regional. So it's been a while since I've been a, a top seed after qualifying. So. Um, so I had, a, you know, I had a great look. Um, just like Perry Hall, I had a big game there, 258. I had a big game at the end as well. I shot 264 or something like that in the um, final game of that qualifying block at up at the Lehigh Valley Masters, and um, got the first seat. So um, and then the format was six games qualifying, then you bowl uh, double, in, I believe, double elimination match play on Sunday. So um, I bowled three matches, I believe, and I won all my matches. So it's me and three other bowlers that are in the winner's bracket going into the finals. The finals was scheduled to be the next Sunday because they're doing local TV for this, for the Allentown area and stuff. So um, they ended up uh, not holding it because of COVID reasons. Um, it was around the week before Thanksgiving. So it was restrictions started really locking down a lot of stuff and centers couldn't really run anything. So. 
Um, right now, I don't know where I'm gonna finish at because I haven't bowled the finals yet. <laughs> so the finals were, it's originally scheduled to be in March, April or something like that. So I gotta wait till March or April till the finals. And uh, so it's eight bowlers that are gonna go, you know, head to head and um, I'll be one of them and hopefully uh, make the TV show there and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll grab a win. We'll see, I don't know, we'll see. So there's a lot to, uh, predict there as well and a number one is the first pba regional round of the year in the east region at perry hall in maryland so uh the center again obviously it's it's been a uh, very good center for me this year to bowl at uh the pattern i believe was like a marshall holman 37 foot pattern i believe it was and uh so being a little short i would normally go to a urethane round play down that three four board area and just you know throw a lot of revs on it and you know kind of get that right spot they're going and hit the pocket and hopefully strike so just bowled really well that whole day uh it was seven games to start off with for qualifying and then i believe it was top 12 moved on to the finals which was another eight games of match play and then total pinfall bonus pins all that stuff will determine the winner and um so game one qualifying i started off 280 so i was off to a great start off of that there's a couple okay games after that then game four i actually threw uh 300 uh, it was my third PBA 300 game ever, so uh, I was uh, very pumped on that. It was on one of the end pairs, I think, or one of the further down pairs, and it was like 45, 46, I think it was the pair I bowled on. But that just jumped me up in the standings, and then I think I threw a big 250-something, 256 game, I think it was, at the end, to get the, um, to qualify third. So I was qualified third seed going into match play, so guaranteed I'm getting a check, so off the bat, I'm like, all right, this is awesome, this is great. And uh, match play was tough. Match play was uh, was very tough because uh, they re-oiled the lanes afterwards, which made them a little bit tighter and a little tougher to hit your target on and stuff. So you had to make, so through those eight games, I was making a lot of adjustments either with urethane. Um, I have a short pin reactive ball that was doing very well as well. So I was trying to see what was working well. The urethane was kind of blending everything up pretty well to the point where it was getting me through the games, but you know, it was, it, it just was really, really tough. So. Um, I ended up finishing fifth after it was all said and done. Um, bowled some big games at the end, got some good matches. One, I think, one half my matches and stuff. So it was good. It was a great day. Anytime you do well at a PBA event like that, you get top five or even a cash spot. You know, that's 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 a good day. That's always a good day. So I um, was really pumped on that, and um, you know, just hopefully uh, with more regionals coming up next year, hopefully. Uh, things will get better so um it's been a it's been a good run and there's my top five of 2020 the year is done boom done over with <laughs> this year felt like five years so it's good to get this year over with and focus on 2021 uh next year is gonna be a big start to next year with the pba players championship happening in a couple weeks uh down in virginia i will be uh bowling there among the 96 bowlers i will bowl it um the best of the east for sure so uh top five in that makes the fs1 show so Got a chance, you know, it's 28 games in two days, so the format is pretty brutal. Uh, you've won seven games on four different patterns, so it's gonna be tough, but I'm doing a lot of work off the lanes to get ready. I'm working on my physical game a little bit more. Um, not bowling as much to try to burn me out a little bit. I just wanna save my bowling for that. I feel really good, I feel really confident. I feel things are kind of clicking. This year seemed to be better than previous years, so um, I think everything's kind of coming together a little bit, so I'm really happy with that, so. Uh, big thanks to Mike Zangi at Thunderbolt Pro Shop for all his help this year. He's been a big help uh, with my game this year and really improving that group, bringing that to the next level. And, uh, and you know, all, all, all the bowling friends that all around the country and all that stuff that I've met, I mean, I appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe to the video and everything, and uh, we'll be posting more videos. Um, I may do some video player championship, probably. I may do some other stuff, you know, just some fun stuff here. So uh, make sure you check back, and uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.